to Chemicals Academy. We discussed about lithium aluminum hydride and sodium borohydride in previous videos. So in this video, we are going to see what is Birch reduction. Birch reduction is an important reaction, reduction reaction asked in CSI and at and gate. So let's see what is Birch reduction, which compounds are reduced in Birch reduction and what are the reagents used in Birch reduction and the types of Birch reduction. So what is Birch reduction? Birch reduction is, uh, can be applied to conjugated alkenes, alpha, beta, unsaturated ketones and aromatic rings. Mainly we focus on aromatic rings. So when in Birch reduction, when an aromatic ring like a benzene is uh, reduced to cyclohexadiene in presence of alkali metal, liquid ammonia and an alcohol. It is called Birch reduction. So Birch reduction is when an aromatic ring is reduced to cyclohexadiene diene in uh, the reagents are in presence of a uh, alkali metal. Alkali metals are lithium, sodium, potassium. These are the main uh, mainly alkali metals used in Birch reduction. So alkali metal in liquid ammonia and then alcohol. Alcohol. So it is called Birch reduction. So Birch reduction is uh, uh, applied to conjugated alkenes, alpha, beta, unsaturated ketones and aromatic rings. So in uh, aromatic ring case, two types of Birch reduction is possible. When in benzene ring, when a electron donating group, electron donating group is present, the compound will be, the compound will be a diene but a different type of diene. The double bond is uh, look like this. But uh, when a uh, electron donating group is present, electron sorry, electron withdrawing group is present, the uh, compound changes. The double bond position is changed like this. The double bond is uh, away from the electron withdrawing group. So when an uh, electron donating group and electron withdrawing group is uh, present in an aromatic ring, the Birch pressure product will change. The mechanism will change. So let's see what is the mechanism of Birch reduction in these two types of compounds. So the mechanism is uh, taking an electron withdrawing group that is COOH. Take COOH is an electron withdrawing group. So uh, in benzene, uh, COOH is present, electron withdrawing group, lithium, liquid ammonia and alcohol is given and it is reduced to a cyclohexadiene. The double bond is Na from the COOH. So the mechanism is, first of all, when a metal is added to liquid ammonia, a complex is formed, a complex is formed with liquid ammonia and a free electron is generated. A free electron is generated. This electron plays in this reduction reaction. So this uh, electron is the most important uh, role, plays the most important role in this reaction. So taking this compound, when electron is added, what happens? First of all, the electron attack at a para position, this position. Electron will attack at this position. So what will happen? This bond is shifted to here and this bond shift to here. So the compound formed is when electron attack here, a radical is formed, a radical is formed here and this bond is shifted to here and this electron is shifted to the ipso position. Ipso position means the functional group attached to carbon. So it is ipso. Ipso position. Ipso in ipso position a negative charge is formed because this electron is shifted to here. A carbanion is formed at ipso position. And another important thing is when a, a carbanion is at ipso position it is more stable. 
the structure is more stable. Now, we know um, this bond is here. We know there is an alcohol. So, this position will abstract this hydrogen and another electron will come and attack at this para position. So, the product is So what will be the product? This electron is attached, attacked here. So the radical will emit and uh, form a hydrogen. Sorry, a carbanion. When electron is attacked here, a carbanion is formed in this position, and these bond will remain same. And at each so position, a hydrogen comes. A hydrogen comes and another proton will come into attack and it is attracted here and the broad final product is H H and C O O H. So this is the final product. So here when electron withdrawing group is present, the double bond is away from the electron withdrawing group. The first of all, the mechanism is the electron attack at a para position. So, when electron withdrawing group is present, electron attack at the para position. This is the main thing. And another trick for uh, writing the product uh, in competitive exam is when an electron withdrawing group is present, uh, you should put the bonds away from the electron withdrawing group, like this. The double bonds are away from the electron withdrawing groups, away from the ipso position. So this is a trick for uh, writing the product. So let's see electron donating group case. In electron donating group case, the product is like this. The double bonds are at, uh, one of the double bonds is at ipso position. It is not away from the substituent. So the mechanism is, the electron attack, uh, the, the mechanism is depends upon the electron attack position. So in which position the electron will attack? In electron donating group, if an electron donating group is present, the electron will attack at a meta or para position. Uh, both are can be possible, it is uh, not confirmed yet. So in meta or ortho position can attack. So what will happen? The electron will attack at the meta position. So here a radical is formed and this bond is shifted to here and this to this carbon. So the structure becomes O-N-E. Here a radical is formed and this bond is shifted to here and here a carbanion is formed. And this bond remains same. And now the alcohol comes into play. This hydrogen is abstracted by this carb anion, and another electron will attack here. So the final product becomes what? O M E. Here a bond, here a bond, hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. So the bonds, uh, double bonds is at one of the double bonds at ipso position. Uh, it is not away from the substituent. So this is the mechanism of electron donating group. Uh, when an electron donating group is given, we can write the product easily as electron donating group is given. So the one of the double bond will be at ipso position and just draw the double bond opposite to that first double bond. When electron withdrawing group is present, what will be the product? Electron withdrawing group is present, it is away from the group. So, draw one of the double bond here and another two opposite to that. So, this is the product of electron donating and electron withdrawing group effect.
So let's move on to some examples. In first example, a conjugated alkene is given. So we know Birch reduction is applicable for conjugated alkenes, alpha, beta, unsaturated ketones and aromatic rings. So here a conjugated alkene is given. So the product will be this bond shifted to here and this electrons are shifted to here. So what will be the product? This. A reduced compound. Double bond is reduced. In second example, two conditions are given. In first condition, sodium liquid ammonia and ammonium chloride is given. We know Birch reduction uh, usually takes place uh, in presence of alcohol. But here ammonium chloride is given. So product will be a saturated ketone. The product is a saturated ketone. The ketone remains same and this is neither group. The, this bond is reduced. So it is a saturated ketone. But when alcohol is given, sodium, liquid, ammonia and then alcohol is given to this particular compound, the product will be an alcohol. This ketone is reduced to alcohol and the remaining structure will say Me. So this is the product. When ETH, uh, ethyl alcohol is given, uh, the ketone is reduced to alcohol. When ammonium chloride is uh, present, ketone remains same and a saturated ketone is formed. So in third example, this is a, uh, another type of uh, Birch reduction. A particular condition is required. Here, two rings are there. So a selective reduction of less electron uh, rich electron deficient ring is reduced electron deficient ring is reduced so here the electron uh, deficient ring is this ring because oil group is activating group activating group. So this ring is reduced. So the product is so the product become OH okay, this is the product. Now in fourth example Birch reduction is applied. Uh, C uh, two groups are there. C O O H and the methyl. A electron withdrawing group and a electron donating group is present. So in when two uh, groups are present, electron withdrawing and electron donating group are present. Electron withdrawing group have the preference uh, because it is the electron deficient ring. The ring attached with electron withdrawing group have the preference because this electron deficient. So this is methyl and this group remains same COOH and what will happen? The bond is away from the electron withdrawing group. So this is the product. When electron withdrawing group and the electron donating group are present, we uh, reduce the ring which is electron deficient. So electron deficient ring is reduced. This is an important criteria for Birch reduction. Uh, these type of problems are asked in exams. So this is Birch reduction. Hope you all understand this. Uh, thank you.